rules of geology. It would have shown up on the survey if it was at all substantial. If they'd done properly spaced drillings, they couldn't have missed it. There's no clay for miles around. But there were no stones at Stonehenge till somebody put them there. Nothing. Yes, it was nothing. I wouldn't have told you otherwise. Nothing! To you, maybe, but not to me. I am a married woman with two children. Do you know what it costs me to be here? To come here? Someone of absolutely no importance. We went out to dinner, not alone, with some other people. It was an accident, not premeditated. I don't want the details. No. Certainly pick him, can't I? <sighs> Steve, I've grown used to him being a bull in a china shop, but you, I thought... I thought you loved me. I do love you. I want to smash something. Help yourself. I want to smash your face in! <sighs> what was she called? I suppose you can remember. Does it matter? I want to know. She was called Rose. Rose Delgado. And what kind of a name is that? She's an actress. Oh, that's all right, then. Look, I said I was sorry. I was trying to be honest. Truthfully, you see, I want things to be different between us. I'm not used to saying no. I will change. So I think I was almost ready to kill for you. I don't need that. Ah! I'm sorry. No! Come on. I didn't come here to admire your art collection. Good night, Mum. found her on the kitchen floor with the man who'd come to fix the St. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it was the central heating. <laughs> Does it matter who it was? I'm surprised she could remember how to do it. <laughs> Some things you never forget. <laughs> She's a two-faced cow and always was. <laughs> Would you like a drink, dear? A bit early for me. Come on, it'll do you good. When you've changed, you can pop down to Dad's workshop. And look at some stuff down there. I'm clearing it out. I'm going to have a nice little summer house. A sort of Swiss chalet. It'll be good for changing from the pool and great when the kids come to stay. I can't. It's my house. No, I mean, what about his models? I sold them the other day. The money will pay for the summer house. I was surprised how much they were worth. Steve told me where to go. Steve! Is something wrong? Should we go? No. We're going out to lunch. 
Help yourself to another Pims. This won't take long. Kids are so sentimental these days. I'm sorry, love. I suppose I should have asked. You might have wanted to keep one of them. There's an unfinished one still there. It's not that. Oh, it's just that he loved that old shed and his models. I don't know. If I had let him, he'd have wasted his whole life with those bloody things. Perhaps his life might have been a bit longer. And what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. All right for you. I mean, Steve's a go-getter, an achiever. Daddy wasn't like that. He was clever, but he needed a pushing. Otherwise, you'd have been brought up in a council house. I've not had all the advantages we gave you. He'd have made nothing of himself. Luckily, I saw what was there and I made him use it. Oh. Here. What's this? It's the key of the workshop. The little one's for the poison cupboard. I don't want to touch it. You get rid of what's in there. I can manage everything else, but I don't want to touch that. Well, what shall I do with it? Well, take it to the chemist. They'll dispose of it. Well, what's in there? How should I know? Stuff he used for chromium plating? You know it made him cough. I told him he shouldn't, but he wouldn't listen. Well, I'm going out to lunch with Gina and Betty. Now, make sure you switch on the alarm when you lock up. Yes. I'm having this room decorated at all. So the kids will have a nice room to sleep in. I've got a lovely curtain for that window. Pink, you know, the rouged kind. I'll see you Friday. If it comes to we're behind cop, you know that. Jack! Trevor! You all right? I'm okay.
and get ready for bed. I'll be up in a minute. But I want to see Daddy. Come on, you. Come on. say. I mean, was it as bad? There's a cave. Caves running under the hill and it's a burial mound. Only, of course, there was no mound or we'd have known about it. Underneath, there's a tomb. Bodies. Skeletons. Lots of them. Those bloody surveyors, they can't have done any test drillings. They can't have just missed it. The survey cost us £20,000 and I am ruined. Insurance? An alternative site? There isn't one. We'd have to abandon everything we've done. The cost would run into millions. How was your day? Usual thing. Oh, and I got a job. A job? Hmm. What on earth for? I felt like it. It's at the art gallery. You know the one by the museum? It's just part-time. You might have asked me. Why do I need your permission? Oh, and I went to see Mother. Haven't you got enough to do? What, gardening? Housework? Ironing your shirts? Don't worry, you won't notice a decline in the standard of service. That's just typical of you, deserting me when I need you most. I am not deserting you. You're never there when I need you. I'm sorry your work's going badly, but there's nothing I can do about that. Bitch. Steve! How dare you do this to me? How dare you? What is being done to you exactly? I'm doing something. I'm getting a job. As I say, it won't change anything. It's no big deal. The children are too young. They need you here. But I will be here. I can work the hours I want. It's perfect. So bloody selfish. Anyway, if your work is going as badly as you say, perhaps it's a good idea if one of us has got a job. Don't you dare touch me. If you hit me, you will never, ever see me or the children again. I wasn't going to hit you. <laughs> 